Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button. Also remember to click that bell button and make sure to tick that box to send all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. With that in mind, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Final Fantasy XIV video. And in this video, we'll be talking about the Job Dragoon. And these are basically my impressions on the job. So please, correct me if, I'm, if I say anything wrong down in the comments down below. So let's get started straight away with a Dragoon. Leveling Dragoon was okay. You know, the DPS cues is definitely something you don't want. But overall, I did enjoy leveling the Dragoon. Especially with the new AoE skill. Um, you know, it, it's, it's really, it really enhanced the AoE for the Dragoon. The Sonic's Thrust is something of a welcome because the Dragoon has always suffered with basically a low AoE damage but now with Sonic's Thrust it's actually a better AoE class and I feel like including um, Gear Skull Ghoul, I hope I pronounced that right, is actually uh, an increase on the AoE DPS. Mind you, Gear Skull Ghoul has had a change on its effect, whereas before in Heaven's Ward you can spam Gear Skull Ghoul as long as you have Blood of the Dragon up. It reduced your timer for Blood of the Dragon by, I think, 10 seconds, but you can always spam it, you know, to your heart's content as long as you have blood of the dragon whereas now it has a 35 second cooldown so you can't spam it as much now I still prefer the heavens ward one because it actually gives you uh, like management for your blood of the dragon but because of the new skills that they have introduced I understand why they had to change it that way so Overall, the Dragoon has always been a meme for the LOL Dragoon because people keep dying on AoEs as a Dragoon because of the skill jump. Now, that's I'm not gonna say LOL Dragoon is back because that's more of a skill based kind of thing. It's a player skill, it's not about the actual job. So, knowing the job and how to avoid being a lol dragoon is up to the player so I'm not gonna go there <laughs> uh, but next off I want to say is the dragon sight uh, ability is a also another welcome for the dragoon and they never really have much of a self buff apart from blood for blood uh, which has been nerfed so the dragon sight is actually another extra 10% damage I believe blood for blood had up to was it 20% or 25% before um, or 30% I think it was 30% extra damage now it's reduced to 15% so the dragon side is basically giving you that extra 10% it's not as it's still not as good as the old blood for blood but it is a welcome addition to the dragoon and unfortunately you do have to be in a certain range for <laughs> this to work as you guys can see in this video, I actually have a macro for this and it's actually for my 4-man uh, dungeon macro which I actually forgot to fix before I entered this uh, trial. So I keep sending it to uh, I think the scholar. I always send it to the 4th person so which is usually dps in the four man dungeon but obviously it's not in a raid type situation and i am really really 
sorry about that if you guys are cringing of me passing it on to the healer. I actually also only have the level 69 weapon when I entered here and don't have my level 70 skill as well for those who are wondering why I never get uh, Nastrond in this fight even though I'm piling on those Mirage Dive. Now talking about Mirage Dive, basically the Mirage Dive is your access to your level 70 skill. You need to at least, uh, well, you need to have used Mirage Dive four times before you actually can use Nestron, which is your level 70 skill. Now this is probably my peeve on the Dragoon job because you can't use your level 70 skill straight away on your damn opener. It is what I feel it's missing something. It's a little bit uh what's the word I'm looking for? Underwhelming for a level 70 skill. I, I know it's pretty strong because it's 320 potency and if you can line up blood for blood, you know, that's another extra 15%, 10% uh, to the damage and if you can manage to get Dragon Sight as well, may that's, that's a lot. So 15% for blood for blood and another 10% if you get Dragon Sight, but it's really hard to align Dragon Sight with Nostrand. I hope I'm pronouncing that right as well. It is a pretty good skill in terms of basically burst damage because it's 320 potency and if you time it right, if you do it right, you can use it three times while you have Life of the Dragon. So, you know, it it is a good skill, but I feel like the ramp up time to get there is quite long. I've looked into the Dragoon, uh, I guess uh, like a guide or an opener or something like along those lines. And from what I can see, it takes about like 80 seconds to get to where you want it to be. Basically, if you can launch all your um, jumps and your spine shatter dive, so basically it'll take you, you know, right about there. So each jump is 30 seconds, you'll get another spine shatter dive, which is 60 second cooldown. So basically, you're about 80 to 90 seconds if you're counting everything before you actually get to life of the dragon so you can use your level 70 skill and i think a lot maybe this is what the other dragoons have been complaining about i'm not sure because i haven't looked into the complaints of what the dragoons are because they've been getting a lot of potency buffs but talking with delhi who played dragoon before before i actually leveled mine he, yeah, I can understand what she was saying. She felt like, yes, it's the ramp up time takes too long and it becomes a little bit lackluster. It shouldn't really feel that way because it actually is a very strong skill. 320 potency every 10 seconds and you can, you know, basically use it three times. That's quite a lot. So. You know, I just feel like, yeah, in the end, that's what the Dragoon has become, became, it sort of became like Monk. There's a lot of positionals, basically positionals here and there. So a lot of management as well. So now you have to manage your uh, Blood of the Dragon, Life of the Dragon, which it becomes later on after you use like four Mirage Dives. And then you have to manage getting back up there again. So, and then you have to think about the positionals because now Fang and Claw and Wheeling Thrust can be used back to back. 
So basically, if you want your potency to be up, you need to make sure that you're actually hitting those potencies. Now, thanks to the latest updates, basically, even if you miss your potency, uh, your positional, sorry, you're only missing out on 40 potency. But of course, this is if you're min maxing and if you're trying to do the best you can, 40 potency becomes 80 potency and then becomes 160. So, you know, it's a lot of potency loss. And basically, yeah, it's like becoming a monk. It's just going back and forth to different positions to make sure you hit your positionals. But you have to manage Life of the Dragon as well. So overall, I feel like the Dragoon became harder, became a harder job. And it sort of kind of brings me back to 2.0 Dragoon. For those people who don't know, this Embattle was actually a positional. And if you miss that positional, you won't get the Disembowel uh, debuff on the mob or on the boss. And it's sort of feeling like that. But not to the extent you won't get the debuff. But, you know, there's a lot of potency loss when you think about it. So overall, I still like playing Dragoon. And the reason why I didn't level it the second to my monk because I wanted to try samurai, I wanted to try monk. And I felt like, you know, when I was looking into the Dragoon, it felt quite complicated. And I must say it is a little bit more complicated than in Heaven's Ward, but it doesn't really demolish the fun factor of the Dragoon. Even though it got complicated, now having a fifth combo basically because of how wheeling thrusts and sorry because of lance mastery be, that makes it so you can combo your wheeling thrust to fang claw and vice versa so basically it has like a fifth combo and sometimes it's i miss those combos because i forget i'm still into the heavens war dragoon where basically you only use one of the two and it's random but now it's not random anymore. Basically what happens now is if you're in your Chaos Thrust combo, basically Willing Thrust will be the first one you would use. And then it will activate Lance Mastery once you get to that level and you can use Fang and Claw. And now when you're in your Thrust combo, basically Fang and Claw comes first and then Willing Thrust will come in second. So I guess it's made a little bit more complicated but not so much as that it will confuse you because in heaven's ward it was random you can either get fang claw and wheeling thrust and a lot of the dragoons were complaining about the fact that you know i don't know where to position myself once i use my combo because it could be this or it could be that so there's a little bit of delay as to what you would use uh, in the end but now it's not but it has that fifth combo you just have to remember it's muscle memory I mean it's complicated now but once you get your muscle memory I don't think it will be too complicated because now you can anticipate where you need to position but like I said it the ramp up time you know is the biggest problem for me and it just feels like playing monk now uh, a little bit slower but because of all the different positionals that you have to do going back and forth it just feels that way to me but anyway summarizing my impression on the dragoon is basically if you don't like the ramp up time it's probably not something I would recommend using uh, you know or playing for that matter but if you're fine with you know uh, the ramp up time for your level 70 skill to be used at, at like something like later that's fine I mean Samurai has the sort of ramp up time for it too but the ramp up time for the Samurai if you know how to play 
using the one send rotation basically it doesn't take that long for you to get that ramp up and monk still has perfect balance you know to get that ramp up for your for your skills but dragoon unfortunately doesn't have anything to like like a shortcut to accessing your level 70 skill which is kind of disappointing so overall i still enjoy playing dragoon and i'll still play it every now and then anyway guys i think that's it for this video remember to click like subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful at all as always i'd like to hear from you guys what you think of the dragoon job and if you feel like it's gotten complicated. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Munchkins Gaming, and you can also follow me on Facebook at Munchkins Gaming. This is Munchkins logging off, and I'll see you guys in the next level.